Hi, and welcome to Tatango Spark. Today you are going to learn how to add a touch point, similar to the touch point that Dana Shield has added here. Tatango makes it easy to capture all the information from any type of communication with a customer. Just look for that paper icon and start adding your notes. The touchpoint functionality allows you to capture all types of important information. The first being the touchpoint type, which indicates the type of interaction that you've had with your customer. In addition to that, you can add the touchpoint date. If you're late to adding your touchpoint, you can backdate this. You can capture a list of internal and external participants. You can capture a short subject to describe your customer interaction. You can also add up to a 10,000 word description of what took place during your customer interaction. In addition to that, you can add an attachment. You can add a touch point reason if this has been filled out by your administrator to give you even additional important information pertaining to the type of interaction that you've had. You then will be asked for a success flow. Success flows are an organized approach to categorizing your touch point. So in the future, you can look for them and filter on them. After you've completed all this information, you can add your touch point and it will be reflected on the timeline, which we'll cover here in the future. In addition to that, just want to make note that no worries if you're um, distracted and have to come back to your touch point. We're saving this as a draft so that you can pick up where you left off. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about to Tango Touch Points. I encourage you to check this out today. Take care.